Hey guys, you know my name, it was at the beginning of this video and I want to talk about the best scary game ever. And you may not agree, but if you do, please watch this whole video. And maybe if you do not agree, but by the end of this video you do agree, please like and subscribe and I'll be sharing my opinion. Okay, so let's start off with what is the best scary game? For me, my first scary game and it has to be Silent Hill. And this was being developed by Kojima Productions using the Fox engine which is used in the Metal Gear series. Now, I have no knowledge of the previous Silent Hill games and this one was new to me because the PlayStation was becoming popular because of the hype of the PlayStation. And it's pretty amazing because this game is highly praised and it's only a teaser, a playable teaser which has no relation to the real actual game that was supposed to come out with the help of Guillermo del Toro. And this was supposed to be the 10th installment in the Silent Hill series. Kojima was brought onto the project in 2012 of September and it was revealed in 2014. And that's almost two years ago and it was a free download. It's so sad because the sources are reported that there were conflicts with Konami and Kojima and his senior staff and I don't know what happened there but I really wish something could be settled so we can have this game because it was amazing. So let's start with number three. When I was watching the videos from IGN and the Rad Brad and other people on YouTube, I had my headphones on and I was listening and just the beginning was mysterious. Now all the scary games are mysterious from the beginning, but there was something about this that made it so, so morbid. And it's not like random crap that you see in video games now, just jump scares everywhere, pointless quick time events that make no sense. It was so mysterious. The graphics, yes, yes, the graphics were amazing. The audio quality, the way they made it so realistic and the design and it was so mysterious because you kept going through a hallway over and over again but although there was criticism about the game being too hard which i totally agree with because no one would have found out until someone released the walkthroughs now let's move on to number two it had a story that made sense and it left you wondering it immersed you in and it was so compelling the radio was playing in the background as you kept going around in this endless hallway and as you went through every hallway, the narrator on the radio elaborating on what happened. And you will hear the cries in the video game. And everything started to connect more and more. And it was like a puzzle, a really hard puzzle, I have to say. Now let's end it with the very first reason. The jump scares made sense. It actually scared you. It left you wondering and it made you jump. It made your heart jump. I have watched so many scary movies where they overuse jump scares and it's so predictable and this is why I think Silent Hill if this was a reboot or whatever it was it was a 10th installment was the scariest game for me nothing like Five Nights at Freddy's or Slender Man Slender Man was scary for a time but then it becomes old if only we were able to see the final results and what this game could have been it's a shame and it's amazing because this game was so great that other companies were trying to copy it and there's this one game called Alice and Road I watched a few minutes of that game and I was entirely bored because they were trying too hard and it was nothing compared to Silent Hill although I might be judging correct me if my if I'm wrong guys well I would just want to say thank you for watching and if you guys do agree please click like and subscribe if you do not agree leave a comment below and tell me what is the most scariest game you've ever played Alright, my name's Alan. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.